Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and in this video, we're jumping into a brand new heavy haul where we are going to be using Ironhide to haul that Western Star Twin Steer out to the quarry on the second map in the new Season 9 DLC region, and we're actually about halfway through the loading process, and I'm going to walk y'all through the rest of it. So, we're using IR's Gooseneck Pack, and the beauty of this is that you can use the built-in winch points either on the truck or on the trailer itself to help get the Twin Steer up on the trailer and the twin steer is so long that it basically takes up the entire length of red's gooseneck trailer so with that in mind let's go ahead and get this thing packed up and see what we can do with it and also see if ironhide is up to this task hint i think ironhide's gonna have no problem with this at all i just wanted to say well let's see if we can do it beans thinks we can do it don't you beans Sounds like it. Beans may, must have slipped and hit the train horn. That wasn't me. All right, so we got to plot out our course now. So we have to get over to the burned forest, and the uh, the route to get there is actually fairly simple. You just got to follow this road up to the portal, or like, well, tunnel, portal, whatever you want to call it, and that should be pretty dang easy. Although, it's not as flat as you might think, so... We're really going to have to keep that in mind because this is a very, very top-heavy scenario. Look at this. Look look how much bigger than Ironhide the Twin Steer is. I mean, yes, we're using the Max Engine for Ironhide, but I think we need it for this. Like, I have no, I have no issue using the Max Engine for it. I think it's going to be perfectly suited... And we've also, by the way, got a weighted front bumper. We don't have the weighted logo because I didn't think we were going to need it. But maybe now thinking back about it, I should have probably put, you know, double extra weight. Because I've got one unit of extra weight up front, but not double. So let's see what we can do once we start putting that power down. God, that 7.2 liter stroker engine is definitely putting in some work, though. We've got the six-speed kind of general-purpose transmission in this thing, and it hauls really, really well. I debated on going with the eight-speed, but since this one was a little bit more general-purpose, I was like, you know what? We'll go with the six-speed and see how it does. And so far, dude, this thing is putting the power to the ground like nobody's freaking business, and it is absolutely moving out. God, it rips. Look at this. Let's see if it'll roll in high. So far, it's rolling. I mean, this is full throttle, so that kind of feels like about the equivalent of maybe fourth, or somewhere between fourth and fifth, possibly. All right, let's ease you through. Whoa, and right into the rock. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to get the thing slowed down before we bonked into the rock, but didn't really work out that way. Just going to barely eke our way around those rocks, and it's still tipping pretty good. God, this is... This right here is like this right here is the epitome of overloaded like we have officially overloaded ironhide now is ironhide taking it absolutely ironhide has no gripes about what we're doing at least not yet but i mean this is definitely overloaded uh territory go wide go what don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare save it save it save it save it save it okay cool we got it we winch caught the trailer Ooh, that was freaking close. Okay, go, 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 go. Do not let the trailer snap back the other way. If the trailer snaps back the other way, we're oofed. Like, I mean, we are proper oofed if the trailer comes back the other way. I would really rather not drop this thing before we even get to the other map. All right, so we're almost down to the tunnel. And when you join us again, we'll be on the other side. Let's go. Well, after a long and very eventful journey, it wasn't actually all that eventful. All we did was go through a tunnel. But either way, we are now on the other map, and now we got to figure out what we're going to do in order to get this thing down to the quarry because I've never been there before. Legitimately, I have never been down there. I don't know where I'm going, and I don't have a portable radar unit in this thing. So I'm trying to figure out what my next move should be, and I think really my only move is to go this way. Or, or, or this way. I really don't know. Like, I'm completely lost. Um, okay. Well, we're about to pull a Hammond and just go. And, uh, I don't know where we're gonna end up. 
we're gonna, yeah, this is, no, 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 don't you dare. Uh-uh, nope, we've come too far to let that thing just flop off the trailer. Not happening, not in a million years, I disagree. Nope, 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 nope. All right, up you go, come on, come on. All right, roll on the power. Ooh, geez, going uphill is annoying because all it wants to do is lift the front axle. I should have doubled up the weight. Ooh, now that's really coming back to bite me, isn't it? Because I didn't double up the weight in front. It's quite the stupid decision on my part, I think. This seems like the right way, but you never know. The maps in this game can get you all turned around and, you know, they make you think you're going the... Whoa! God dang it. Oh, well, now we have to fix this. Okay. Great. All right. Got it loaded back up. That was a bit of a... That was a bit of a job. But it's all good now. We can continue rolling. And, well, <laughs> rolling in terms of rolling the tires over the dirt. Not rolling as in rolling the load <laughs> off the trailer. <laughs> I just realized in my head when I said rolling, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not the kind of rolling we just did. Let's avoid that kind of rolling. We're going to do the good kind of rolling, not the bad kind of rolling. <laughs> All right, let's see. Don't get that, si that sign stuck in your bumper either. Because when those signs explode, they go. And when they go, I mean, it's bad. They they freaking go. All right, I think we can take this cut through. I don't see any reason why not. There's a bunch of, like, stumps and trees and winch points. So I don't think we really have much of a rollover risk if we go through here. Now, I... <laughs> it remains to be determined whether or not I'm going to eat my words on that one. But let's see what we got. Easy. We also have a winch that can, well... Reverse a planet's rotation. So I'm not sure how many tons that is, but don't don't worry about it. I'm <laughs> I'm yeah, I, I am not a I guess what would that be? An, like a NASA scientist? A, a a planetary engineer? I don't even know who would calculate that. Moving on. Alright, and you would probably need the person like a person with the same type of qualifications to actually calculate out uh, the amount of torque that the max tune in this truck produces. <laughs> All right, get this task discovered, or rather, uh, this time trial discovered, or contest. That's what those are called. Easy. I sometimes forget terminology when I'm stressed. Can you tell that I'm stressed? Like, after that rollover, now I'm like, I'm proper stressed now. I'm like, let's definitely not flip this thing over. We're getting close, though. I can see the quarry. It looks sick from here, actually, through the trees. That's that's actually a really legit view. This map has some of the best views still, like, that I've ever seen in the game. It really, really does. All right, what do we got down there? We got a sign leading to the warehouse. But that, I believe, might actually be our gateway into the quarry parking lot. Or, well, quarry parking lot. There's no parking lot here. There's there's a downhill spiraling road, but uh, it, it doesn't look like a parking lot to me. All right, come on, Twin Steer. Let's go. All right, we could give it the good old yeet treatment, but I feel like if we do that, we're just going to end up in an irreversible scenario that's going to be just really, 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 really bad. God, look at that view. That view is absolutely nuts. That view is insane, dude. Like, I cannot even think about another area in SnowRunner where the view into a quarry was that dramatic. Like, don't get me wrong. Yes, I know we had a quarry on, like, the Tennessee map, but it was just nowhere near as... I would say, like, it was nowhere near as, like, grand as this one is. This one is so, like, huge, and the way it sits against this backdrop is just absolutely breathtaking to look at. It really, really is. I just had to fly around in, like, drone mode slash photo mode there for a little bit because I really wanted to take a better look at this thing. Oh, my God. Why did it roll away from the downhill? That's very strange. I'm just going to continue on this spiral loop. I had a little bit of a, a wacky thought in my head for a second about trying to make that, like, you know, super tight left. And I was like, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> maybe we should definitely not do that. Almost there. Just another spiral to do. Don't flip it now. Stop it. 
Oh my god, get off of the rocks. Come on. Woo, easy. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh, jeez. Got yoinked by the edge of that rock. All right, let's bring you down and around. Should be fine to cut this corner a little bit on the inside. I'm gonna need to to not hit that crate. Almost there. Oh, dude. We're, we should get a pretty dang good boost from this contract as well. Is, is there anything I can... Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm gonna safety tie the winch, actually, because I could see this going real bad real quick, and uh, I'm not interested in having that happen. Ooh, easy. Stop. Oh, my God. Oh. Enjoy your anxiety. <laughs> I got some, too. Jeez, dude. That was insanely close. Oh, my God. I hope you enjoyed your anxiety there because uh, I certainly got some of it. I don't know about you. I'm just going to take some pictures now to take my mind off of it because that was insane. That was, like, like absolutely gnarly close. And boom. Work transport evacuation. All the vehicles are safe and sound. You live up to every good word we heard about you. Here, this is for your great work. 890 XP and $9,700 in game. Let's go. And if y'all enjoyed this heavy haul, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.